Hey guys, welcome back. We're on question 8. Question 8 of the CXC CSEC March January 2012 paper 2. Let's move over to the question and start working it out. So the question is an investigation question. And we're told that Sarah is making a pattern of squares using straws. She uses four straws for the sides and two longer straws for the diagonals. The first three figures in her sequence of shapes are shown below. So this is figure 1. This is figure 2, this is figure 3, and the first part of the question asks us to um, use our answer sheet. So we're given an answer sheet here, but um, obviously here I do it on the screen. But you're given an answer sheet and you want to draw figure 4, the fourth shape in the pattern. Okay, so the pattern, the pattern seems to be that we're just adding on um, straws at the end of the previous figure so let me see if I can do this on screen here if this is the third figure the fourth figure would just be um, a straw here a straw here a straw here a straw here and a straw here so that would be the fourth the fourth figure let me see if I think I well yes I did this already here let me clear the screen so this is what the fourth figure would look like. Right? Um, part B, we want to complete two rows in the table for figure 4 and figure 10. And what we want to do is to write down what the formula is and to write down the number of straws in each of those figures. So for the fourth figure, we can basically count the number of straws. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. So the number of straws well, we already know how many straws are in the third figure. 16 straws are in the third figure. And how many straws did we, did we add to get the fourth figure? Well, we added this and this and this and this and this. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We added five straws. And so um, figure four will have 24 straws in total. 21 straws in total, sorry. And looking at this pattern here for the formula, um, we have three outside here, three and three as the figure, six inside here, and this increases by one each time. Well, at least it seems to be increasing by one. So this should be four times six minus three. And let's see if that makes sense. Let's see if that gives us the number of straws. Four times six is 24 minus three is 21. So yes, that works out as well. And for 10, well, we could go and draw 10, but we can also um, get the formula first and then calculate the number. So the formula here should be 10 times 6 minus 9, right? Because it's always 1 less than the figure number that we're looking at. So 10 times 6 is 60, and 60 minus 9 is 51. So this is 51. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can <coughs> understand why this formula works before we move on to the to part C. Look at figure 3. So figure 3 consists essentially of three boxes, but... <coughs> um, right, so we have three boxes, and remember each box contains, what, six straws. So if we were naively to calculate how many straws there were, we would say it's six times three. Right? So that's why we have the 6 times 3 here. But remember, we're, we're sort of double counting because um, when we look at this particular straw here, we're counting it within this box as 1, and we're counting it within this box as 1. Right? This straw here. And when we look at this straw here, we're counting it as um, pertaining to this box, and we're also counting it as pertaining to this box. Right, so we're double counting two of the straws, and so we need to take out those. Um, we need to take out the count that we added here and the count that we added here, and that's twice we did it. So that's why we have to take out two here. Right. Similarly for four, when we add on this extra piece here. It's 6 times 4, right? If we naively try to compute the number of straws, that's 1 box, 2 boxes, 3 boxes, 4 boxes, and each box uses 6 straws, so it's 6 times 4. 
but remember we double counted three of the internal straws we double counted this this and this and so we need to take out those double counts that we added in and it's three of them so you have to take out the three so that's how we get the uh, the tree there. And if you reason for the other figures, you'd see why the formula is the way it is. Anyway, moving on to part C. Part C asks, which figure in the sequence uses 106 straws? Well, to work this out, I decided to do a bit of trial and error. So I know it has to be more than, it has to be a figure greater than 10, right? Because figure 10 uses 51 straws. And as you increase the figure, the number of straws increase. So it has to be greater than 10. So maybe it's 30. Well, 30 would give us, so let me clear this. If I assume it's 30, then 30 would have how many straws? It's 30 times 6, based on our formula, minus 29, which would be equal to what? Uh, 30 times 6 is equal to 180, minus 29 is equal to 151, is equal to 151. So this is way more than the number of straws that we need. 106, this is 151. So 30 is too large. So maybe it's 20. So let me try 20 then. 20 times 6 minus 19 is equal to what? That's 120 minus 19. 120 minus 19 is equal to 101. 101. So we're fairly close, right? We're f like five straws away, but remember when we're creating when we're creating these pattern of squares to get the next square, we add five more straws. So if we add five more straws, this we get one o six. So maybe twenty one works. Let me clear the screen and let's try twenty one then. Twenty one times six minus twenty. Let's see if that works. 21 times 6 is what? 21 times 6 is equal to 126. And 126 minus 20 is 106. So to, the answer to this question then is um, figure 21. Figure 21 in the sequence uses 106 straws. Right, so a little trial and error helped us out there. Part D. Obtain an expression in N for the total number of straws used in the nth pattern. Okay, so let's see, let's see if we can reason about this. Okay, so let's let's try figure five. In the fifth figure, it's five times six minus four straws. In the sixth figure, it's six times six minus five straws. In the seventh figure, it's seven times six minus six straws. So I, I hope you see where I'm going with this. In the nth figure, then it should be n times six minus what? This number here is always one less than n. So that's n minus one. And when we simplify this, we get six n. We remove the brackets by multiplying by the negative one that's implied in front here. Minus one times n is, negative one times n is, minus n and negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 and so 6n minus n is 5n plus 1 and so the expression we're looking for is 5n plus 1 right so if so in figure n there are a total of 5n plus 1 straws let me write 5n plus 1 here and let's just verify that that is the case for the figures that we did calculate for already I'll have to write that over. So let me write 5n plus 1 here. And let's verify that that is indeed the case. So when n is equal to 1, we have 5 times 1 plus 1. So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So it does work out here. When n is 2, we have 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So it works out here. When n is 3, we have 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16. When n is 4, we have 20 plus 1, 21, which is what we got when we worked it out. When n is 10, we have 5 times 10, which is 50 plus 1 is 51. When n is 21, we have 5 times 21, which is 105 plus 1 is 106. So it works out in all the cases that we previously calculated in a different way. And so we're fairly, I'm fairly confident that this is the 
um, this represents the total number of straws used in the end pattern. I hope this was helpful and by the way this is the end of section 1 of the CXEC segment January 2012 paper 2. In the other videos I'm moving on to section 2 but if you have any questions concerning this section, any question in any of the questions in this section, please leave your comments on the um, YouTube video page or in any one of the posts uh, of the questions in this section and I'll try my best to answer your questions and to be as clear and concise as possible. So thank you very much for following this video series and see you over in the next section.